Ahora tenemos el día. Era para Wow, this is confusing. So many tunnels. Look at this tunnel. What the hell? I think I've never seen such a long tunnel, uh, tunnel in a metro. That's crazy. And like here, this direction you're supposed to go on that way, and the other direction you're supposed to come from here. And I like what I like is the logo that everything is red and um, red and blue. Not only the signs, but also the, the trash cans and so on. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Look, it's going on. Am I even allowed on this side? I don't think so. I would love to have like a scooter or a skateboard or something to go along here. Man, I think um, th like the tunnels look nice. The tunnels are not as run down as in Paris, they're not as old, I think. I haven't really checked on when the metro was built, but the tunnels here are much more modern and much m much nicer, actually, than um, compared to Paris. <sighs> Ooh, still ongoing, but there's the end inside now. And here you can see it again. This is, I have no idea what it says, basically, but it's a trash and it looks like in a comic. <laughs> okay, we're going to Las Ventas on the right. Let's go. Behind me is the most famous bull ring in the world. The Plaza de Toros de Las Ventas. Known simply as Las Ventas, also easier for me, um, is the largest bullfight ring in Spain and it has got an incredible seating capacity of 23,798 persons. How, uh, how crazy is that? I never would have thought that so many people uh, like to watch a, a bullfight, honestly. Um, it only falls short to, uh, let's flip the camera here. It only falls short to another bull ring in Mexico City, I believe I read. Um, however, it is the most famous bull arena since, of course, it is an architectural masterpiece since it was built in 1931. All right, so the, my battery died, so this will have to do, I guess, with my phone here. Here you go, here you can see it again. And with this camera, I can actually also zoom in quite a bit. Here you go. Wow, you can see the nice colors. Of this all right I decided to come inside and still check you out so let's do this all right this is a map of the whole thing I entered through here and now we just hear the bulls and I'm gonna walk around here and then down maybe onto the picture I don't even know maybe that's possible and then off back out on the other side and this is uh, the area here a very residential and pretty calm to be honest let's flip the camera oh it works cool let's see how we do here let's carry on let's do a quick thumbnail here <laughs> with my friends all right wow look at that 535 kilograms um, these are the fame, the most famous bulls here that uh, that 40, 500 kilograms for this guy. They don't even seem that big to me. I thought they were taller and larger, but I mean, of course. And here you can see where where they actually got hit. Here they got hit with the with the sword of the fighting. The, the fighter man wow i think they, they try to aim for the back here when they stab the bull 
I don't know if it's just because the bull is then has then gone by them and they can then stab him from the back so to say I think that's it that's why but let's carry on as you can see here a bit run down in some parts but let's see Tendido Alto wow let's go out here would you look at that oh my god you can go down on the pitch that's amazing wow and here is where the king and all the famous people used to watch the bull the bullfights from you can literally feel the the heat and the the fear that was that was going on the pitch down there really right of, of of roman and ancient um, gladiators wow how crazy that this still exists let's go up here and sit down as one of one person that would watch a, uh, a uh, bullfight would sit down they would sit down here and then they would look down like that amazing it's actually comfortable I wonder for how long such a bullfight um, uh, is going on all right so this as I said this 23,789 people capacity wow look at up there it's so big and it's round you're not used to to a round pitch like this and here up whoops almost falling here if I walk further up they have they have here um, better seating stools but they seem to be very not used that much wow it really goes all the way up I mean I don't think it has been used since the beginning of uh, the crisis anyway so this might be why let's go over to this um, VIP thing here <laughs> if you might if you want to call it that all right I can't really see anything but here it says something what does it say Palazzo residential our uh, presidential of course so, blah, 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 10 minutos the presidential um, balcony palco probably balcony presidential balcony behind me wow oh it's hard <laughs> to walk down the stairs like that oops and absolutely no people here like that I'm pretty much the only one I left there to be some bulls though all right let's let's carry on so I just found out that prices for bullfights range anywhere from 5 to 140 euros and that the whole area is divided into 10 tendidos so-called tendidos and um, those are different areas and they have different prices depending on where they are because bullfights are usually held in the afternoon and in the afternoon the sun of course is the strongest so depending on where they are um, in the afternoon and this where the sun is also um, of course it makes a big difference in in how hot it gets so the prices differ a lot apparently and here if it if I flip the camera like this here the presidential um, area here is placed in the west side which makes it basically the, the coldest place the coolest place there's no Sun in the afternoon I thought that was really interesting and here's another bull 485 kilograms hello don't kill me I think I think he got he got killed apparently I don't even know maybe they they I find out later what they do with the bulls um, when they are killed and now let's see onto the pitch this is where the bulls enter the arena and 
Here there's, uh, there's a bullfight display. Wow. Amazing. Hello, King of Spain. They walk out here. They walk onto the pitch and then people are cheering. So just found out that the maze of the bulls is actually getting used um, as a delicacy, a very expensive type of uh, type of meat, type of dish, and the the flesh is supposed to be very very tender and very nice because the bull had the calm and healthy lifestyle in the countryside. The bulls always come from the countryside of Spain. Here you go. This is the way. So the bull obviously can't come through here. And here on the side you can see um, Comunidad Madrid. Um, Empresa over there is, is uh, Medicos. So many different authorities and like um, doctors and stuff are here first aid and they have the assigned seats or assigned places within the arena and I also found out that in diameter this arena is the second largest in the world and the third largest in terms of seating capacity there's one that's bigger in a city called Valencia in Venezuela and one that's bigger and it is actually the biggest in the world in Mexico City that I forgot the name of of course it's one clock that is opposite of the um, presidential uh, suite up there that houses 10 people so they can always see what time it is all right you guys that's it I had a little final chat with the very nice staff in there and they told me that normally before the crisis obviously um, there were bullfights held every weekend still I wasn't aware of that so often and I asked if the king is coming and he said oh, the king is uh, doing it a little bit for the image still he has to come sometimes but he's not coming that often just when it's uh, something really formal and he has to come and he's coming and he said that also all the people are coming still a lot but the arena has never been full it's been a long time since the arena has been full and young people are not interested in the bullfights i mean i i can see why um i was in the museum just now and they have all those rituals and the things they have to go through before uh, before the fight the matadors come down and kneel down in front of the king and stuff like that and but it's so crazy that it's so um uh, yeah, it's it's sunken into the culture of Spain. So, for example, they have this jacket, the Matadors, they wear this jacket, and they have to like uh, uh, like close it up to the very top. And there's a special word in Spanish for that. And so, before the bullfight starts, and people in Spain apparently use these words to 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 close the jacket up. Also. In everyday life when they have to face a stressful situation or something at least that's what they said in the museum that was very interesting to me so um bullfights are part of the culture i don't know i mean i have no opinion on whether this is bad or, or, or good or whether i should uh, whether you should support it or no and um, make up your own mind on that i just thought architecturally and the whole vibe in there it was it was just uh, an amazing experience to so check it out i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys around i'll see you guys in the next video probably from from another country very different one so stay tuned <laughs>